Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mar and uh, I'm really excited again to share with you our new episode uh, in continuation with our wedding series entitled I Do. So last time, uh, we've discussed about uh, planning and marriage counseling. So this time, our episode is entitled Wedding Tracker. So we're gonna talk about uh, about the financial aspects of your wedding preparation. So it involves the wedding suppliers, um, kung magkano yung mga babayaran ninyo, and of course yung mga contact persons. So very important tong uh, wedding tracker for you to be able to organize your uh, wedding preparation when it comes to your uh, uh, suppliers. Okay. So, and before we continue, I'd like to thank again yung mga subscribers natin dito sa aking channel. So, currently, we're now at 262 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for subscribing and watching my videos. And please continue supporting my channels, guys, by sharing as well. And uh, hit nyo rin yung not notification bell para lagi kayong updated kapag meron tayong mga bagong videos na i-upload in this channel. Okay, and pag na natin patagalin pa, let's watch this. A video regarding our wedding tracker. Ayan guys, as promised, um, dun sa previous vlog ko, kung napanood yung previous vlog ko, yung episode 1 ng I Do uh, Planning and Marriage Counseling, nabanggit ko doon na I'll be creating the second episode of I Do, which is the entitled Wedding Planner, but this time I changed it to Wedding Tracker. So, in Wedding Tracker, uh, dito natin i-discuss, of course, yung mga uh, importanteng details ng preparation ninyo sa inyong wedding. So, of course, dito sa Excel, as you can see on your screen, dito sa screen natin, uh, is the suppliers, amount, uh, target date, status, remaining balance, contact person, resources. There's are, these are just examples, so, but you can still add columns depending on your uh, tracker. For this is just an example para meron lang kayong idea kung paano nyo mamomonitor yung inyong uh, wedding tracker. So as you can see on the wedding suppliers portion, uh, dito nyo ilalagay yung venue, uh, catering, wedding gown, uh, groom's attire, or... Uh, prenup, flowers, at kung ano-ano pa na related to your wedding uh, suppliers para matatrack ninyo kung ano pa ba yung kulang ninyo sa mga suppliers. So, importante yan na matrack ninyo para malaman nyo na yung, mga, malaman yung status at kung ano pa yung kulang nyo sa inyong uh, wedding preparations, spe specifically sa inyong uh, wedding tracker. So, ayan. So, important itong tracker na to guys. Kasi ma mas, every time, di ba, pag nagkita kayo ng partner nyo to discuss. So, pag in-open nyo tong Excel file. Actually, this is just an Excel, Excel file na personalized nyo lang. But you can, there's a lot of, uh, I think may mga apps na rin ngayon regarding sa wedding planner. Uh, but this is... And more on, ano kasi, hands-on kasi ako eh. So, gusto ko yung, ano talaga, uh, gumagawa din ako ng sarili kong Excel file. Kahit nga sa mga finances natin, sa so usually sa Excel file ko lang din sila ginagawa. So, ayan. So, as you can see, uh, dito sa column A, or first column, suppliers, and the next is your amount. So, kung nakapag... Uh, kung nakapag, ano, na-canvas na kayo ng mga suppliers, then of course, may mga price na yan kung nakapag-final na kayo kung alin yung magiging supplier nyo for the venue, catering. So, first, pwede nang ilagay dyan kung magkano yung price para alam nyo na kung magkano yung paghahandaan nyo. And then, the target date. So, sa target date is, of course, kung kailan nyo 
babayaran or if fully paid. Kasi kung na-meet nyo na yung mga contact person ninyo, of course, meron nyo na partial payment muna or may down payment na yan for the reservation, especially sa venue, sa receptionist, magpapareserve muna kayo nyan. And, uh, of course, may mga down payment for reservation. So, let's say, um, kailangan yung reservation is for 10,000 pesos. Let's say the venue is uh, ginawa ko lang dito 20,000 guys. So, pinabahan ko lang. Pero, ayan. So, let's say 10,000 pesos na yun ay bayad ninyo. So, ilagay nyo dun sa remaining balance para uh, matatrack ninyo kung magkano pa yung kulang ninyo sa inyong um, supplier. Payment for the supplier. And then, of course, yung um, ilalagay nyo dyan kung reserve na, nakapag-reserve na kayo and kung may uh, balance pa kayo dun. And then, as you can see din sa iba, meron ng paid, kung paid na siya. And then, yung schedule, uh, sa target date, kung kailan kayo mag-meet ng contact person ninyo, pwede nyo rin ilagay dyan kung sponsored ba yung supplier, let's say, uh, kagaya ng sa wife ko, dun sa makeup niya, may nag-sponsor. So, hindi na natin siya isasama dun. So, para ma-monitor niya, hindi na kayo mag-aalat ng budget for that. Kung may mga nagbigay sa inyo na, nag-sponsor sa inyo na, let's say, ng gown or anything na pwede nang ibawas dun sa expenses niyo sa supplier. So, ayan. And then, contact person is very important kasi sila yung uh, let's say dun sa venue niyo kung sino yung contact person niyo na pwede yung tawagan contact number, lagay nyo rin dyan kung para anytime na may concern kayo na or changes sa inyong uh, um, contract, pwede na silang tawagan. Okay, and then, and lastly na column is yung resources. So, lagay nyo rin dyan kung saan magagali yung mga resources nyo sa loan, sa savings ba, Lagay nyo na rin yung mga lagif nyo dyan. Kung may mga pera na may nag-sponsor nag din sa inyo ng pera for additional budget ninyo sa inyong uh, mga gastusin. So, important ito guys. So, very important talaga yung tracker guys para whenever you meet again with your partner pa to discuss, you can just open your Excel file and update from time to time kung ano na ang status ng inyong mga suppliers, mga kailangan pambayaran, mga changes. So, napaka helpful ng tracker guys para hindi kayo na hindi na di-disorganized yung inyong uh, plano sa inyong uh, wedding. So, uh, advice ko rin sa inyo guys, uh, very important sa mga suppliers talaga yung may mga contract kayo sa inyong uh, suppliers. Kasi, um, ayaw naman natin guys, di ba, na ano, magkaroon ng palya yung ating mga uh, uh, suppliers kasi di ba lalo na kung involve yung pera so maganda talaga nung sa wedding namin as much as possible ang um, minute namin lahat ng mga suppliers namin meron talaga kami pinirmahang contract we meet them uh, physically uh, we discuss yung contract kung ano yung mga inclusion and exclusion and important yun guys para ano um, hindi yung magkaroon ng problem on the day of your wedding so, these are the things na uh, pwede ko ma-share sa inyo, sa inyong uh, uh, preparation, sa inyong uh, wedding, especially dito sa tracker. This is very helpful, guys. So, uh, it's up to you kung anong klase ng tracker gusto gamitin, but Excel file is very easy for, for us. Mas madali, you can just open that on your laptop uh, anytime and you can easily modify it. Ayan, kasi hindi naman ganun ka-complicated yung ano natin, yung tracker. Okay guys, so that's it for today. So I hope that this is also another helpful uh, tip sa inyo in your uh, wedding preparation using the wedding tracker. So that's it guys. Thank you.